here we are at a uh, new location. It's uh, springtime of 2020. Um, it's a new property, property that one of our farmers has had for, I don't know how long he's had it, but we didn't know he had it. So, and here we are, nice old homestead, uh, 1800s, uh, had a barn, two houses. Um, yeah, so we're, uh, we're pretty excited. We're very excited and we can't, this Sorry. is it. I can't be hugging Ted on the video anymore, giving him kisses and all that fun stuff, you know? No, not fun stuff. I, I no. long for the old no. days. No. <laughs> uh, what we're doing, this place is, a, like like Ted was just saying, it's a brand new place to us, so this is going to be very interesting to see. The homestead's been gone well since, well before the 30s. All right. So. There's, there, there won't be that much modern trash other than whatever people throw from the road. Yes. I mean, it's, yeah. it's right at a corner of a road, and uh, I'm, not, I'm just anticipating some, maybe, you know, some cans and stuff around the edges, and then hopefully it's not too mm -hmm. too trashy. Right. And you also get uh, trash and cans and stuff like that from people have farmed it over the years for some reason. I'm not sure why. They're just, you know, they finish with something and they throw it off the tractor sort of thing. And, I don't know why that is, but it seems to happen. I think I, I think a lot has to do with whoever they have helping them yeah, do oh, their sure. fields. Yeah, because no, farmers absolutely. farmers who own their properties they don't want to pollute their property like you don't want to pollute your own house. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you'll take your garbage with you. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I agree. We pick it up, put it in our pouch whenever we can, and take it home and get as as we can for it. <laughs> yeah, I recycle mine. <laughs> exactly. So okay, all right. You want to get at it? Let's get at it. Okay. Sounds good to me. apologize about this one. Ted and I have been swinging. We swung the initial area where the two homesteads are gone and what we found is not lots. I think it because it was on a corner lot somebody's either detected it recently because we found a bunch of holes. So I guess we're gonna wait till he does a plowing and plows it under. But anyways we, did, we decided to check out a different part of the field and uh, my first target here didn't sound very good so I didn't bother putting the camera on but anyways it's an Indian so first coin is an Indian head and it uh, looks like 1864 I think I'm pretty sure it's 1864 I don't have my loop on me but Ted has his loop don't ya? you want to rent it yeah let's rent your loop for a second no no because we're trying to do this social distancing thing so I can't I can't touch your loop man can't touch it <laughs> yeah. Oh, perfect timing. I get a phone call. Let's see who this is. It's all working out, Doc. I don't know who 437777 is. I'll let it go to message. Here for like an hour, thing doesn't go off. Start rolling, goes off. <laughs> Are you done yet? Thank you. Okay, so anywho, uh, the 1864 Indian, it's pretty, it's, it's in very darn good shape. So, that's cool. At least we're on the board with, with uh, one coin. So, let's see what else we can come up with. Okay, so this target here is really deep, doing down about 10 inches. It came up as a 44 on the detector. Got it out in the clump. 
but I'll let you listen to it. Show how high that is. It's 44. 44 on this detector usually means a newer coin. Usually. So I'll be curious to see what this is, being so deep and being a 44. You see how crystal clear that is? Wow. So yeah, 40. Oh, hold on. Oh, 42. Okay, hold on. It might change my mind. Yeah, 44. All right, you know what? No more guessing. Let's see what it is. Oh, see? Okay, it's, it's definitely not a coin, but it's a big piece of brass. Look at that. It's huge. Solid piece of brass. And it's not from a pipe. Well, you know what? It's not a pipe fitting, but there's a, there's a set screw there, so. <sighs> Definitely something mechanical. But anyways, that gave a really good signal, so you can imagine why. I'm thinking of 44. 44s are newer pennies, and I don't know why it's just ringing off a of 44. It's really, yeah, 4344. Hmm, very odd for a piece of solid brass. You were ringing up a 44 on this detector. Anyhow, that's what it is. Oh well. I wouldn't say womp 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 because hey, it's probably worth 40 cents in brass. Another piece of metal for my scrap metal run one day, <laughs> which I don't do a lot. I probably have about, I don't know, 300 pounds worth of it. I just gotta separate it all and then bring it to a scrapyard one day. But anyhow, one day I will. There we go. All right, there, Ted. Ted just got a coin. He yelled at me to come over and he sees it in the dirt there. Yeah, well, after digging numerous clumps of melted, crushed up junk. Garbage. <laughs> junk. I've been getting a lot of garbage too, and I'm not, I'm not putting that on, but. We've been getting a lot of garbage yeah. today, mostly and, garbage. And I almost didn't dig this because it was reading up the same as as the other stuff I've been digging, but it's kind of hard to to let it be. <laughs> and oh, so, especially when you're, when you're be, digging right? lots of junk, you get discouraged because yeah. you keep okay another one, yeah. okay another one, and some of the signals are similar to coins. Yes, absolutely. So when you yeah. get one like that, you're more reluctant. You're like, okay, I, I'm thinking it's going to be crap, and do I really want to dig yeah, it? Yeah, uh, yeah. Whatever. You almost like it like some people do say when you're in a certain situation you do dig it try to dig it all uh -huh. as much as you can not in a park because you're gonna be digging thousands of holes yeah, yeah. but here but we're getting junk but we're not getting jump every foot no no it no. just there's a lot more trash here because yeah. these buildings only came down probably after like 1940 so right. we're getting a little bit a little bit more garbage yeah. than normal yeah. So you're just itching to see what that is, aren't you? I am. <laughs> I'm keeping him in suspense <laughs> by having to talk to him. Uh, going in. All right, go for it. It's a little, uh, little toasted. But judging by the size, it's, it's definitely a token. Yeah, it's Canada. Say what? I mean Canada. It can't say Canada on it. Well, it says Canada on it. All right, then it's a half penny or full token. Yeah, They've so got the bank on the other side, Montreal. The 3D? Yeah, the 3 yeah. <laughs> if only you can find a 3D bank token. I mean, Bank of Montreal one. Ted always takes so long to find out what the yeah. hell it is. I'm savoring it. <laughs> I can't come over there and, and, and snatch it from his hands like I normally do and then uh, no, tell you what it is. Well, it's an Upper Canada okay. token, but I mean, I don't have a... Come on, man, my hand's getting tired holding this camera. I just don't have a year I'm out yet. of practice. It's only the second uh, second filming episode that we've uh, done this year, so... Lugging around the camera gear is a lot harder than it normally is. Are you going to cry me up an ambulance? <laughs> I <laughs> want to. <laughs> That's okay, you lug around this camera for a while then, mister. No, I know what you mean, yeah. I know. Let me, I'm just going to show you what, what I use for my gear. Watch, check this out. All right, I'm going to walk in front of my camera. And you can see it right there. So I got to lug that and the tripod everywhere I go, slung over my shoulder. And uh, yeah, I mean, when you're not used to it, 
you, you really do feel it. So I'm not used to it. There you go. I'm gonna go back to my position. Okay, Ted. So what I'm the trying, hell is it's, it? I'm just trying to get a date on it. It's really. Uh... I gotta switch arms. Mm -hmm. Lucky I can edit out my finger. Jesus. Do I have to do the old? Do do do. You do actually. Do, this do, is. Do, do. Do, 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 do. <sighs> I'm sorry, folks, but oh, what is this? Okay, I'm gonna put my gloves on, and then he's gonna toss it to me, and I'm gonna rub it on my gloves so if I can maybe see what it is. So give me a second. Well, it's a half penny token, buddy. <sighs> oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. All right. Let's say 1869. 1869. No. Ugh. Okay, that's something. No, can't not six. These don't. They don't come in 69. 59, but not 69. It's the summer of 69. Oh yeah. He got in trouble. Who did? Oh yeah, Brian Adams did. Yeah. He yeah. Got in isn't that weird? Racist. Um. Yeah, he got in trouble for saying China. He's, he's just saying that the, the virus came from, oh, they eat bats. You know, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, they do eat bats, but Whatever. it's their it culture. Open. It's their culture. It is. All right, hold on. I see an 1850-something, and then it's the half penny token with the horse on it. So it's not the, it's, it's the, uh, they consider that the dragon slayer. Um, yeah, I guess. There you go. Okay. I'm going to confirm the date. Telling you, it's not the summer of 69, it's the summer of 59, or it could be 40, 49? Hmm. I never got a 49. 50. What? 59. Yeah, 59. It's a 59, so it's confirmed 59. Well, as it turns out, I was wrong about the date being 1859. It's actually 1852, which if you see in the close-up, it does look like 59. But they didn't make them in 59, so I was wrong. Oh. Awesome. Uh, okay. Whew. Well, good. At least we're on. We're on both on board with one coin. Yeah. So now we can well, I got another find one. nothing else for the rest of the day and have a very short video. Yeah. <laughs> I found another penny, but I don't. It was a. Yeah, he found uh, a. Okay, we it? might as well show that penny because it's kind of interesting. Because I oh, could. It's that, it's that cog thing I found. Ooh, that's a. Almost looks like a gear. Or yeah, something. for a yeah. gear. Um, the penny he found, he called me over. I didn't film it because it's a George. Um, we're a little spoiled. The George is from the 40s or from 1951 and under, but I could barely see what it was we, until it was rubbed off and it's so shiny. It don't look like a normal George. It's very, it's the first time I've ever seen a shiny George. So we'll get a picture of the shiny George and we'll show you what the shiny and George I looks like. I believe that might be a native artifact. Anyway. Maybe kind of. Need I digress. Okay, so anyways, I'll show you, I'll show you the shiny George in a close-up. But the shiny George was found, what about, uh, how yeah, far? Just on the... It's about, I don't know, 10 feet before the top of the crest of the hill. Yeah. All right. So, let's find some more stuff. Hey. Okay, not that very long after Ted has dug that token, I get a signal down at about uh, six inches, and uh, I'll let you give it a listen. I already see it in the hole. Here, I'll point it out to you. You can see it in the hole right there. And I'll let you listen to what it sounded like anyway. Yeah, it was, it was jumping around a bit. It was hitting up like a 36 on the E-Track. So kind of sketchy, but dug it out and uh, yeah, and then you can see right there the musket ball, so let's uh, pull it out, get a peek at it. It's not a large caliber, I mean it's medium, probably about a 50 caliber musket ball. I don't know if they came in 50 cal, but it's about that size. It's not a full on big 69 caliber one, the big ones, but kind of cool. Musket ball, so it's a good relic. I like finding musket balls. Well, thank you for joining us on this episode. We didn't find much, but we still had fun, and we will return 
another day when this field gets plowed over. Hope to see you on the next one. Take care. Be safe.